Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you two things. One, how the Microsoft Surface Go tablet handles the Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. And two, a quick demonstration of how we edit our photos. So the photos that I'm going to show you today is this one. The next thing is I'm going to start up the Lightroom to let you guys gauge how quickly this um, program loads up. The settings for this PC is already set as best performance, although I'm not plugged in. Um, this is my second demonstration video, so if I sound a little bit weird, please bear with me. Anyhow, um, during um, video editing, I tend to use quite a lot of keyboard shortcuts. I will try to explain if I can remember to you guys because that speeds up the process quite a lot. So I've already imported two photos as you can see here. So we are in, in the library mode, I think. Yeah, so in order to get to library to the develop module, the keyboard shortcut to use is D. It's great. It doesn't normally do this, but I'm not sure why it happens. Perhaps because it's the screen recording is running in the background. But anyhow, it is quite smooth as you can see. So the next step I normally do is go through this, my own presets, which is pretty self-explanatory. I tend to do this on the first three to four presets because that sets the base adjustment for most of my photos. Most of the time, once I run through this, it will give me a good feel of how the photos will turn up. And the next thing I'm going to select, you know, two different looks that suits our page. And in this case, I think the orange and teal version fits the photo because of the sky and the sunrise that we get. And by the way, this is shot in um, Cappadocia, Turkey. These balloons are all real and the photo is shot in RAW. So as you can see, once we've run through all this, it gives you like a good feel and good look of how the photo looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to adjust the temperature and tint because it's giving me some green hue which I'm not liking it. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to, to see it clearly but adjust it slightly and see. So I'm just going to adjust some of these sliders to bring up the shadows. Pull the highlights down a little bit. Most of the time I will just play it at both extreme ends to see what I like the most. I tend to bump up the clarity slightly because that gives you the crisp look that you're looking, that a lot of people is looking for. The effect is subtle, so it is different than the contrast slider. As you can see, the photos change so much just by us sliding the sliders a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is just go into the HSL slider to adjust the selective coloring. So I like the blue to be more saturated. So I will drag it up a little bit more and the orange 
just so that the color pops up more. I think that's quite nice looking already. So now I'm cycling through the information page to see what this is shot at. So this is shot at ISO 200 at 1 50th of a second at 19 mil. Doesn't have much noise as you can see here, but I tend to apply some noise reduction because we do have to pull up quite a lot of detail from the shadow and the darker areas. And then I'll just press the X key, which, ah, wrong button. I think it should be the R key, which gives us the aspect ratio. Yes. And then select the Instagram cropped that we want. So Instagram is the four by five ratio. So it will bring up this overlay. So the next thing we know, just click OK, and then there you go. I think we are more or less there already. So the next thing is to apply some sharpening with masking. I apply quite high sharpening on most of our videos, sorry, photos, because it gives you the sharp look. Before and after photo is here. So here's the before, here's the after. So I think we've only spent like five minutes and as you can see, if you shot the photos in RAW correctly, the effect can be quite dramatic. So that's the before, that's the after. So next thing is, I'll just synchronize basically most of the adjustments to the next photo. And this photo will just, well, basically it will just save me so much time to edit the next photo because they are shot almost at the same time. And then there you go. Hope you find this video useful. And then if you've got any comments, feel free to let me know because I can only improve if you guys let me know, you know, what can be improved upon. But anyway, thank you. And again, please visit our Instagram page and follow if you liked this video.